Welcome to Rocksaw Productions, where in this episode we have some news from the folks over at Retrobit. They are starting 2021 in style with the new Legacy 16 wired USB and 2.4 gigahertz wireless controllers designed for you to play Super NES games. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Gary here with Rocksaw Productions. Now, before we dive into today's episode, I just want to take a second and say thank you for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see here, I invite you to check out some of the other videos on this channel. After this one, of course, we have a whole dedicated Retrobit playlist talking about different controllers, systems, accessories, and games. And if you really like what you see, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way, each and every time we release new content, you are kept informed and up to date. And what I want to know from you today, the Super NES and the Super Famicom, pretty much my favorite system of all time. But between the Super NES and the Super Famicom, there are differences to the controller. Do you prefer the American uh, purple and lighter purple concave convex button type or the Super Famicom red, blue, green, yellow button configuration? Me, I would love to see a combination of the two, the shape of the American controller with the colors of the Japanese controller. That would be awesome. The folks over at Retrobit have just sent us this press release here about the Legacy 16 wired and wireless controllers designed to basically allow you to play Super Nintendo games the best way possible. Whether you are looking for wireless or wired, they've got you covered. Now there are two different colors that they're gonna have on here. They've got the white and the black, or they're calling it Onyx. Um, and the cool thing on the USB side, 10 foot long cable. So you've got a nice long cable that you can go ahead, have your, you know, if you're using a RetroPie, or even on the Switch, you could use it wired on the Switch to be able to play Super NES Online games and sit back and enjoy yourself on the couch. Pretty awesome there. Now they do also have the wireless version, and this is the one that I'm most excited about. And again, same color schemes with the white and the Onyx. This comes with adapters for both the Super NES and to go into a USB port. So very cool there that you do have the double compatibility going on. Uh, very similar to what they've done with their six button Genesis and eight button Genesis wireless controllers along with the Saturn controllers too. So it will have both dongles on there. It is gonna work with the Super NES, Windows, Switch, Mac OS, Steam, Android, and Raspberry Pi. Now this is 2.4 gigahertz, it is not Bluetooth, so you will need to utilize this dongle here to go ahead and be able to play on like the Nintendo Switch. It won't connect automatically, so that is something to be aware of. Now as you can see here, it does maintain pretty much the same overall design, style, and shape of the original Super NES controller, although the wireless one does also offer the dual analog sticks that the wired USB version does not. So that's ideal if you are looking to play games you know, on your Switch, on a Raspberry Pi, something like that, that you will be able to take advantage of it. And it does have the extra ZL and ZR triggers as well, so you do have all four shoulder buttons that you would need. Uh, the wired ones actually do have the ZL and ZR a little bit smaller, closer to the center line of the uh, of the body of the controller itself too. And it does also have both the wired and the wireless versions do have home buttons, again, that you can map if you are using it on a RetroPie or something along those lines, or if you are using with a Nintendo Switch to get you back to the home screen as well. Uh, features home and the screenshot buttons too, so very cool there. Here you can get another closer look at the dongles, the white one as well. Uh, this is a very nice looking controller. Now the Onyx one, this is just a render. The one previous that we had on the white one uh, does look like the actual production unit. So I am excited to get a look at both the wired and the wireless ones. Let me know, what do you think about something like this? Is this something that you would go ahead and pick up? And would you spring for the wireless version or would you save some money and go with the wired? They are going to have two different price points on there. So that is something to keep in mind. I'll have the prices right here, 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 
here is where I will put the prices. Now these are available for pre-order now over on CastlemaniaGames.com. Ryan has already got them up on the website and don't forget anytime you do order from CastlemaniaGames.com you do earn Castle Cash. That's his rewards program that you can earn credit towards future purchases and it's just like cash doesn't you know it's there's no exemptions or anything along those lines with it if you have 20 bucks in castle cash you've got 20 bucks to spend at the castle now i'm not sure since these are pre-orders if these are going to be eligible for any promo or discount codes but if you use promo code rocksaw 10 you can save 10 percent off of most items on the website now one final thing too on the dongles i don't know if you caught it there when it popped up but they do have micro it looks like a micro usb maybe usb c but from what i'm seeing this looks like micro usb so you should be able to go ahead and use that to update firmware down the road if they do in fact offer firmware updates uh, i will have a link down below to where ryan has these posted on castlemania games websites now if you do have any other comments or questions feel free to email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can send me a message on Twitter at Rocksolid Studios. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions and Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions. GK. Now, I don't know if Retrobit is going to send us one of these to check out or not. I'm thinking they probably would just because we've had you know such a good relationship with them over the years. If not, I'm going to pick up one of the wireless ones myself. I want to check that out. I actually like the the traditional white looking one. I, I really like that. The Onyx one is okay, but I like that white. It reminds me a lot of the original controller here. And you do have pairing buttons if you ever do need to repair. I wonder if it's the same protocol that they used on the Saturn and on the um, Genesis controllers, if you can also use this with that. It would make sense. I mean, the dongle is already designed, so why reinvent the wheel here? Uh, no release date or anything like that as of yet. Looking at what we have here, I would assume first half of 2021 is a pretty safe assumption. Um, it just looks really good. I am I am looking forward to trying these out. And if they're anything like their other Super NES controllers, they're comfortable, they're durable, they work very well. My name is Gary, and this has been Rocksolid Productions, and our sharing of the news of the Legacy 16 Wired and Wireless coming to you from Retrobit in 2021. I thank you for watching, and why don't you check out some more Retrobit videos? They're coming up right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rocksolid Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel, and you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.